Welcome to another episode of Jay's Learning School, where I help you to improve on your English and speak more efficiently when it comes to speaking the English language. When today we're going to learn different ways that you can describe a lazy person. I believe every one of us has a lazy person close to us, whether in our family, on the job, or at school. When it comes to speaking English, it's very important to know various ways that you can describe such a lazy person. So today we're going to look at seven ways that you can describe a lazy person. While you're watching, be sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button and that like button as well. Number one, you may call a lazy person a deadbeat. A deadbeat. For example, my landlord is a deadbeat. He never comes and tends to any repairs. So when you have someone that's responsible for fixing something at your house and they never come out and fix it, not only are they sorry, but you may describe them as lazy or a deadbeat. Another example, you may describe a person as a lazy person by saying, he still owes me $500, but he left town. He's such a deadbeat. So someone owed you money, but they decided to move to another state. Definitely a thief, but most definitely <laughs> a deadbeat. Another way that you could describe a person that is lazy is by using the term lazy bones. Think of a parent that may have a lazy child at the house. They may say something to the effect of, stop being such a lazy bone. Get up and do your homework. Come on, lazy bones, get up out of the bed. It's two o'clock. Hey, lazy bones, get up off that couch and go wash the dishes. So lazy bones is a term that is heard pretty much in this country when it comes to describing a lazy person. Third way that you could describe a lazy person is by saying or giving the command, get off your tail. Hey, you need to get off your tail and go get a job. The car is dirty. Will you get off your tail and go wash the car? A lazy person. They're slow to do. They're slothful. They rather do something else instead of doing what needs to be done. Or they can see you in need, but they're too lazy to come help you. So if you were coming in the house with a bag of groceries and they were sitting there playing video games, you would say, hey, lazy bones, will you please get off your tail and come open the door? <laughs> a fourth way that you could describe a lazy person is by calling them a slacker. You may say something like a slacker always looks for shortcuts. One way I use it, I like to say, hey, you're acting like a professional slacker. I mean, just lazy all around. OK, a slug or sluggard is a term that you can use to describe a lazy person. Quit being a slug and get a move on. Another way you could describe a person that's a sluggard, we would say stop dragging your feet. <laughs> If you want to win in life, you can't be a sluggard or sluggish. Let's look at a sixth example of describing a lazy person. Take a bath and stop bumming around. <laughs> it's somewhat of a negative connotation when you use the word bum, but it is a word or a way to describe someone that is being lazy. You would simply just say, hey, you're really acting like a bum. <laughs> you need to get up and take a bath. You need to get up and pick up these dishes. Stop bumming around. And finally, a pretty popular term to describe a lazy person, a couch potato. Let's go out tonight and stop being a couch potato. Get off the video game, go outside and play around and stop being a couch potato. So those are seven ways that you can practice your English to describe a lazy person. 
I know you've learned something. I know this video has been helpful. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe, share it with someone else that you know that's trying to speak better English. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Which one of these examples did you like best? And can you use it in a sentence? Leave that down in the comment section. And I hope you join me on my next video here on Jay's Learning School. Have a wonderful day.